Hello everyone. As we are studying a statistical process, in a statistical process, second step is data processing. So we will see in data processing data presentation. So in my previous lecture, I have explained this statistical process in which first is data collection, two methods, primary and secondary. And then we will see data processing, in data processing, editing, coding and data classification. And after that, we will see data presentation. So today's focus is on this data presentation. So data presentation is in three forms. First form of data presentation is in tabulation form, in tabular form, and second is graph, and third is charts, in form of charts, we can represent it. So in graph, we will use numerical data, or we can say quantitative, uh, quantitative data like individual, discrete, and continuous. And in categorical, in chart, we will use categorical data. Categorical data means qualitative data in which we will use nominal and ordinal type of data. Now in tabulation, in tabulation, we can use both type of data. This means categorical and numerical both. This means qualitative as well as quantitative. So first we will see what is tabulation. So simply tabulation means arrangement of data in form of rows and columns. This means uh, we will collect data and we will put data into table as per, as per uh, rows, as per columns. And then we will see types of table. There are three types of table. First is called one way table, second is two way table, third is manifold. Just like in this first table, in this first table you will see this is customer data in Mumbai, Pune, Nagpur, Nasik and this quantity is total. So total customers, we can consider male, female, all these customers are in uh, in Mumbai. This is 1 lakh and in Pune 80,000 and so on. So you will see only one column for customer. Numerical column is only one for customer. So this is what this is one way table. And now we can segregate this total column into two parts. First as a male candidates and second as female candidates. Now this one way table converted into two way, two columns, two numerical columns. And we can segregate again this male and female column into graduates, undergraduate, postgraduate customers. So this is considered as manifold because we are segregating data into multiple parts. So this may be three way, this may be four way. So all these things considered as manifold so this is type of table and next is parts of table in parts of table we will see uh, first heading heading is known as the, just like uh, number of customer this is main heading so this is the title and this data this part column wise this is customer male, female, total, this is column wise data, column wise information, column wise title we can say. This is considered as what caption and row wise, row wise subtitles just like city, Nagpur, Pune and others. So this is considered as a stub and this data which we have collected in numerical term, this is called body. This is main body of data. Now we can put to where uh, from where we are collecting data as source so we will write uh, downside the table source setting and we can write from where we can collect data just like www.investing.com uh, or moneycontrol.com or different different sites for share price or others and footnote if any specific detail in your table this means suppose data is incomplete at Nagpur so we can write as a star on that and we can write a star here and this is considered as what? Footnote. Or here we will mention that uh, data is not available or data is incomplete like that. So these are what? Source and footnote. So first is title, second is caption, third is stuff, fourth is main body and then source and footnote. So these are parts of table. And after that, objective of tabulation and presentation. 
so we can say objective of presentation and tabulation are same that's why i am putting all these point both tabulation and presentation in a single heading so first is what first is conversion of complex data into simplest form i have one example as you all completed 10th class so in 10th class there are six, six, six subjects so if you will get marks not in mark sheet form not in tabular form you will have copies so this is kind of complexity you need to see uh, different different copies to uh, add your marks to find percentage or marks so this is what this is complex data conversion into simplest form or we can just like uh, we will collect uh, questionnaires so different different questionnaires we we need to count again and again how many customers want to eat this thing how many customer want to eat this thing different different questions so you need to collect data uh, you need to count data many times so if we write all these information in a single data single table so we can say this is this is what conversion conversion of complex data into simple form and comparison you can compare your marks subject wise you can compare your marks um, with your friends easily and predict trend predict trend just like uh, we have data of sales in different different years first is year second is sales so sales may be content constantly increasing or decreasing this means you can find trend the sale is increasing or sale is decreasing like that so this is prediction of trend easily and for future reference i have given the example of your 10th class mark sheet uh, when you will be in age of 60 you will go with your mark sheet you will not go with your exam copies so you can put your all the details into a single table and you can use in future just like uh, one more example uh, suppose you have purchased a uh, number of shares and you have made you are maintaining uh, a excel sheet so in excel sheet you can change you can add different different shares kab aapne kaun sa purchase kara hai aap usme date bhi dal sakte ho future mein dekh bhi sakte ho ki maine kab liya tha kitne ne becha and no need to uh, put all these papers different different papers so this is what this is for future reference so this is overall tabulation i hope you understand this concept so if you like this lecture so please like subscribe my channel and share for student welfare have a nice day thank you